shining through You know exactly what you want to do Boot up Spotify or Apple Music too Pour yourself a bowl of friends for me and you You want to listen to your show What the podcast Oh, it's what the podcast Yeah, yeah, yeah It's what the podcast What the podcast Ooh. You gonna hit the high note? Ooh. No <laughs> Welcome back to I, What the Podcast I love that I'm Ryan. I'm John. And together we are Ryan and John. <laughs> On the couch as always, producer Kara Tavoya and the lovely Annie the Scove Scoveman. I was I'm like in awe of that. Was that, that was okay? So but but what I want you to do is uh-huh. I want to the my, lyrics could have been a, a no, little better in the no. middle there. But well maybe I might fine tune those up. Probably tune those up. Um yeah. but I want us to have you cut it? Okay. Okay. With like a pro- like a professional version of it at the end. Okay. Like okay. you and Mike oh. Finning sit in the studio. <laughs> okay. Dude, oh, yeah. I want it. A lot. I you were asking it to be a lot. Good. It is currently Tuesday. Let me. Well, this um, episode no, 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 comes not, out on not Friday. Oh, you mean Friday, but you like just been like in TikTok. life? Okay. Like, like a TikTok. Okay. 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 That I can do. That I can do. Well, you. She's like, I want you to make a professional version right now. And no, then I want you to put it on the I end do. of this week's episode. I would like it right now. Here's, the, here's something I was considering this week: is I am changing my bucket list. <gasps> oh my I'm not. I'm not changing what's on the bucket list, but oh. I'm changing how we refer to it. Because when you call it a bucket list, I feel like that's something that is like, by the time I'm dead, I want to start calling it a to-do list. Oh, okay. Because that's it's sweet. like, you know, because obviously, like, we gotta. I, I still gotta go. I keep saying we. I still have to go skydiving. It's true. And John as well, if he wants to. Yeah. Um, but that's on my to do list. You know, that's not on my bucket list anymore. It's like, okay, I'm going to do it. You yeah. know? What's on your to do list lately, Annie? Oh, I. This is like so sad. I, um, I became a very big proponent a few years ago of do everything you want to do before you die now. Sure. Like right so, now. There you go. I love it. That, that's a great concept. And so I started knocking off, and for me it was like jobs, like because I'm very much cool. For people who know my resume, it's it's unique, and mm-hmm. I did a lot of things mm-hmm. at a young age, which is super cool. Mm-hmm. But it's very much like a I went from working in politics to selling wedding dresses, and people right. were like, "What?" And I go, "Yeah, because I always wanted to work. I I grew up watching Say Yes to the Dress, and mm. I wanted to do it, and I wanted you to started be started pumping gas. And I, you were like, I, I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to pump change gas. a tire. I've always wanted to be a mechanic. <laughs> I started taking apart people's cars. Wow. Can't put them together, but I took them apart real good. Because like I feel like, you know, when you're not doing the stuff. That's in your job. You're like, oh my gosh, I should be like working right now. I should be work doing school. I should yeah. be doing whatever. But I feel like if you sprinkle in these things into your to do list, it's like, hey, you're also living your best life. Yeah. What you about know, you, John? What's on the What's on the to do list? To do list for me, big or yikes. small. There's There's no wrong answers. I do want to go skydiving, so that mm. might happen <laughs> now. But I'm I'm kind of glad that we that you waited. Well, we waited a little bit longer because now I feel like I could actually. Do I it, it turns <laughs> out I was reading the the Groupon wrong. Yeah, and I uh-huh. thought I could only use it in the month of October, which was the most like hectic month of all time, craziest month. Turns for all out of us. didn't have to, which is great. So that means now when you do it, like I'm actually would consider doing it because in October we just had like a ton of like financial stuff and and. It's not like terribly expensive to skydive, but you know when you when you add like that, it's not something you're expecting. The emotional to pay toil, for, you know. What I'm talking about the emotional. No, toil. no, I would do it in a heartbeat. I, t- I texted you this. I was like, I if it was free, <laughs> I'd do it every day. I think it's so cool. Ooh, but um, what if we could work out a brand deal or something? Yeah, some probably. Skydiving, yeah. Yeah. Oh god, companies. I would. Yeah. I can't or just wait. A plane. Either way, whether or not I do it, I can't wait to watch you skydive <laughs> because it feels like one of those things that you you talk about a lot. And I'm like, when you're up in that plane, I can't wait to see, like, you know, do you think you'll be really nervous? Annie just gave me a little hairy look over there. <laughs> I don't know. Well, because I'm I don't know imagining, what that's supposed to be. like, 
watching the video they cut together uh -huh. of you skydiving will be great. But watching you actually skydive is gonna be the most underwhelming thing in the world. What are you talking about? It's gonna be a little dot, and we're like, there oh, he is. Yeah, oh, yeah, from the ground. From the ground. From the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, there he is. Wow. I wonder if you guys could like FaceTime me. No. That'd be kind of cool. And then, and then by the time you're like actually within like, Eye shot where we can recognize it's you. You've already gotten you, over it. You're just well, like, well, you're like just parachuting down. So then you're just like diapered in, connected to some random. So it man. sounds pretty lame, in your opinion. Well, so you'll just have to go. To you can just go. To watching with us. you skydive, yeah, it sounds pretty lame. You can I can't watch it from the sky. The video. No. No, not on your to do list. Okay. Mm, not on my to do list. Okay, dang. Um, on my to do list recently, I'm gonna. Throwing myself a big birthday party. <gasps> wow. Fun. Good for you. It is kind of interesting to throw yourself a birthday party, I've right? never, I've always like had this image of like, I want to have like a big party and this year I'm going to do it. I'm going to rent an Airbnb. We're going to go I hard. I'm going to mix the friend groups. Whoa. Whoa. Pass. Yeah, because we've been hearing a lot about your, your, your other group friends. one is what we call them. Group Whoa, one. Man. And we're, we're group two. Your group B. Wow, that's no, generous. No, group one and group B. Oh, okay. Not group, group A. Group no. B. Okay, cool. Right. Kara, what group about B. you? For to-do list? Yeah, yeah. To -do what's list? on your to-do list? You already got married, so knock that one off your to-do list. Was that list. on your to-do list? <laughs> For the yeah. record? Oh, okay. oh yeah. You should All see right. our you should see our like every New Year's we do like a list this is like so sweet. oh we do a joint uh New Year's resolution. Yeah. We do. And I think literally the past <laughs> like so four cute. were like engaged. Like both of us would mm -hmm. put like, engaged. Mm -hmm. Question mark. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was pretty low we on had my to like, do list. <laughs> We had like just finally kidding. visit grandma in Boston was on there for like five years and then we did it. We did. Finally. We did do that. Aww. We finally did it. Um, It's a lot of traveling. So you stuff actually have yeah. a list. You guys actually have like a physical list. Yeah. I don't think oh, I did uh, one last year. I don't think you did. No. It came and went. Yeah. I did one. I decided not to do it. Get engaged. I was getting annoyed with like, like getting engaged. I love you both them. fatally like getting engaged. Ring. <laughs> Ring. <laughs> mine, I was getting annoyed because on mine every year it'd be like being at least 10 shows this year and then the year would go by Ten and then it was shows? COVID hit and it was like, well, nobody was wow. there. That's, that's a, that's a, a serious working particular game. year, right? I mean, COVID, right. nobody yeah. could have I, COVID. When I was... I don't know, circa 2013. I remember it being 2013. I made a summer bucket list. Nice. Mm. And I don't know what overcame my whole like friend group and family, but it became this thing at like this rallying point where it was like everyone was like, let's knock out this bucket list. Wow. Like, my, I, love I had it that. pinned in my room and my dad would come let's into do my it. room let's and do be What's like, next? what can we like, what can we knock off? And it was stuff like, go to a baseball game, you know, go to the beach, go like, you know, go Easy to things. like hang out with friends at the swimming pool. And then of course I do remember one was learn violin and I oh. was just How's that going? <laughs> Been keeping I, up on that. I played a violin. Okay, last you summer. saw pictures of violins. Violin I'm seems sure on the really internet. difficult. Yes. Am I underplaying that? No. My, my sister played difficult. the viola in middle school, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, she was fine. You're like it was hard <laughs> to listen to. Yeah. I you, you mentioned baseball, and I wanted baseball. Use it as oh, a transition. Yeah. The World Series concluded oh, this last weekend. Yeah. Wah, wah. Who cares? That's right. No, no, no. That's I, what I say. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna tell you a story though, tell and me. I think I might have told you already, but um, we can talk about Hashtag it. Hashtag not my team, you know. So not like. my team, which is fine. But the Astros won, which means one of the biggest sports bets ever paid out. <gasps> oh, Mattress Mac. Uh, his name is. What's his real name? I don't know. They call him Mattress, Mattress Mac. He's based Man. in Houston. He's had a okay. mattress store, a furniture store. For like 40 years. Okay. Uh -huh. He's owned it since it was a little shop and now it's this massive warehouse. He puts these outrageous bets on Texas related sports teams because he's mm. like a big, obviously he's, he's like a big, huge Texas Texan. guy. He lives in Texas. He built his business there. He put $10 million on the Astros <gasps> to win the World Series at the beginning of the season. No way. Whoa. Do you want to know how much million? that paid out? You already know. Don't say anything. Oh, you don't, don't know? know? Okay. You want to know how much that paid how much? out? Uh, can, can I guess? Yeah, I guess. A hundred million dollars? Close. More than that? It's a little less, actually, but 90 close. million. You guesses? 85 million. 72. $75 million. Oh, he won. Wow. Like, in that instance. Can you believe, like, be, and he was at the game, obviously. Last out was, was a foul dollars. ball that they caught, yeah. like, right off the sign. And they have, and I, I went to Twitter to look at his reaction because I was like, could you imagine being at the game? One, which is still cool in general, and it's your, it's his team. He loves the Astros, and so wow. not not only does he love at that the they beginning won, of the season, he was so confident 
that he put ten or so. The bet rich. was so I mean, big. He's, he's obviously like balling. The bet was so big. He had to go to three separate states to bet the uh, the amount that totaled to ten million. So <sighs> that, it wasn't like one ten million dollar bet because you can't like just do that in one. No, state. of course not. So he flew to se- each separate state, and I remember watching the video at the beginning of the season because it was going around. Twitter so he put like, like three point three three million dollars on. Sure, it or and something. he and he wrote this video. He's like, I just bet. I, this is my last bet in in the state of Iowa, and he's like, he's like, I just put ten million dollars on the Astros. He's like, and I'm going to work tomorrow at seven a.m. So he probably was putting like two million on this wow. one. Wow, sure. on it amounted to two million, and then they did the math, and like, if the Astros actually won again, this was the beginning of the season. This was like, like half a year ago almost. So it was kind of a publicity stunt, so obviously. Does he have so to then like- I found out even more. This is crazy. <laughs> he does these. He links these with the promotional of his mattress of his furniture store. Oh, yeah. Okay, and so part of it was in this time period of the beginning of the baseball season. If you bought, and it was like a month or whatever. If you bought a mattress in that month, uh, or yeah, or or furniture up to like two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, whatever, you're gonna get a rebate of his winnings. If the Astros cool. won, you not only get your money back. But you get du- you get the the same amount in cash back <gasps> if you bought within that time frame. So, so now much? people are getting their so money back and awesome. three thousand dollars on top of that, and because that's why because he, they bought mattresses. So he was trying to him. sell more mattresses, sure. obviously, and it's a win win because he won seventy five million, which is a which for all those mattresses is probably a drop, drop in the bucket, in the bucket. of the seventy five million. But <sighs> isn't that insane? Wow. I was like, when they won, because I knew about this I should have bought a mattress. I should have bought a mattress. <laughs> when, I, when I heard about this thing, I've been kind of, wa- that's why I wanted the Astros to win, because I was like, this would be cool oh. to watch this pay out, you know, because it's one of the biggest payouts in wow. sports history. $75 million dollar win. And he's like this old dude. So then the, the, one of the nights when the when they lost in Philadelphia, the first night when they lost in Philadelphia, mm-hmm. he was at all the games, of course. Right, of course. And some, guy, some guy made some jokes of like, some scathing remark about Altuve, who is like their star player of the mm. Astros. And he starts like, he's drunk, obviously, this old man. And he's like, starts cursing him out. And so his security team's like holding him back. Oh. And they didn't, the person didn't know who he was, apparently. They, he just like, they just like knew that he was famous. And they just happened to say something bad about Altuve. And again, Mattress Back was like out of his mind, hammered. <laughs> he starts, this I mean, old man on, like being held Mac. back by security guard. Like, do whatever, and then he didn't you even don't know ap- nothing about he the Astros. He didn't even apologize. That was what I loved. And the, the next day, he was like, "Hey, man, I was I had a few drink. I mattress back, man. Yeah, I mattress back. <laughs> I love that that he won seventy five million dollars. Crazy, Dang. and he gave it all back to his uh, his sleepers. Well, what do you call? I don't know about what that. What do the mattress the people sleepers. call? They're yeah, fans. They're sleepers. Sleepers, sleepers, right? Sleepers. Like that's, that. oh, that's cute. They're well, fans. speaking of season, they're we're all <laughs> rocking a couple well, of... I was going to uh, do speaking of money. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, we're because about the, money two, way the Powerball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody won the $2 Speaking billion. of season, we've got these Christmas season Starbucks drinks here. Mmm. Mm. Yum. You don't like yours. I'm I'm not really digging mine. No, it's coffee made. I've got an iced... Caramel brulee latte. Starbucks, something is happening behind the scenes, and we don't They're have our in it. anymore. They're ruining Something's it. Something's happening, and it's becoming like not because it was always like fast coffee, it's but now very it's becoming fast like coffee. fast food, mm-hmm. where it's like things Sasha. are just randomly falling off the menu. Mm-hmm. They never get them back. So the trash. quality and stuff is going down. And this is a PSA to all Starbucks. Yeah, you'll probably make change. So yeah, yeah. Do. At better. Starbucks. Do better. Do better. If the higher ups are changing it, fight back. All like, right. Well, who do you think is at the top of that? Is it one big mermaid at the top, or is no, it like? I think it's a merman. Oh, it is. A it's a merman. Always. Clown. It's a merman. Don't okay. they have some sort of test kitchen that they're constantly like working on stuff? This is yeah. I and San Diego stores are m- most of them are tester stores. I'm going to so be normally honest. New things come to us. This first. is very. 7-Eleven coffee right now and I'm sure. not and and I didn't want to bag on it because Go for it. Annie bought it for me so no, thank you I, Annie for the little caffeine boost but now that she's opened the floodgates I will say this is terrible. Is there a caffeine boost at all in there? Oh, it, yeah. I, I taste it's, no it's coffee. It's a sugar bump for sure. It's a sugar bump. Yeah they're not. I don't know. I, I, I don't I've never in my you know experience with the seasonal drinks I've never like thought of them as like 
Good. true coffee drinks. You know, like it's just no. always like a like a holiday, like almost like but a sweet like, treat. It's not like but they, I mean, that. they took away my eggnog. That's like that that's a big my end and that is gingerbread big latte. Where did where did that go? Yeah, and I feel they like kept back the bad ones. when we were in high school, there was like a hundred different drinks you could yeah. get. There was gingerbread. It was peppermint eggnog. mocha. Was kind of there was the there was the white. Uh, what was the There was like a tiramisu one? one, wasn't there? The cinnamon no, swirl. No, it was the one that. Um, it's swirl. It was <sighs> tiramisu. Come on, you know there was a tiramisu drink. <laughs> it was not a tiramisu drink. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Seems legit to no. me. Maybe there was. <laughs> there was one that was like the white. It wasn't white mocha. Oh, what white peppermint? No. <sighs> Maybe they're going for like the Disney vault remember. approach, where like it's like. <laughs> You can the drink this, rib. get this drink while you can until we're closing it away like forever. So I see. <laughs> I was confused. Exactly. I was confused because pumpkin came out earlier than like the rest of the drinks, which I maybe they've been doing that forever. I don't know. I, there, somebody was like, "Oh, Christmas they, drinks dropped," and I was like, "Wait, that doesn't drop with like pumpkin and stuff." Like I'm confused. Like I didn't know they all they they pumpkin? Two, no pumpkins. It's still no, it, I don't know. It's, each store is different. At that point, it's literally like once you run out of the pumpkin syrup, then you stop selling it. Oh, dang. Oh, that is so scary. I bet you they order too much, though, and then, Yeah, you know. some, some stores like run out. I'll tell you what. You know the one that I, what was the syrup that I liked a lot last year? And chestnut praline. Yeah. Chestnut, chestnut praline. Chestnut praline. Not good this year. Not good. I, I had one. I had the chestnut Bad. praline. Toasted iced coffee, white mocha. And I was like, yeah, toasted white toasted mocha. Toasted white mocha. Where's, they probably still have that one. And they, it's in the Starbucks vault. So Ooh. bad. So Irish bad. cream. So bad. Yeah, there were That'll so probably many there come was back. an Irish cream. I'm. I think they'll come back in December. So I think some bad. of them are coming back. You know, it's kind of bound better. to happen with Starbucks, though. When you think about how like large Starbucks is now, it's right. the big like mermaid, yeah. it, it just things big fall coffee. off, right? I mean, yeah. and also, to, like to some degree, you know, all these stores are being run by you know twenty something year old managers, you know, managers, and like yeah. they just. They just, you know, they're doing their best. I'd say they're doing great, but like, right. I, I, and I don't mean, I don't mean boots on the ground. I mean the decision, like, sure. hey, we're not going to bring up back top. gingerbread latte. I think or that's like, just ridiculous. Come on, get rid of the eggnog. The eggnog, the eggnog, eggnog, eggnog struck a chord for me because that that's, was good. That was a bomb drink. What's right? upsetting is like they have the kale mushroom bites, but you get rid of the breakfast burrito. We're in Southern Ooh. California. I mean, come on. I, okay, I do love kale, the kale mushroom. Kale mushroom bites. About this. Those are good. I think about this every single time I get alternative milk. Good uh-huh. for you. When I, when <laughs> I lived in you DC, I had a friend who's you allergic to whey. <laughs> okay. Which oh. is like As in curds the, and whey? One of yes. the like active ingredients of milk okay. yeah. in like lactose products. And so she always was like, oh, I can't. I remember getting cereal. And she was like, oh, I can't have cereal. I'm allergic to whey. And I, I went, have you ever tried almond milk? And she had never heard of almond milk. And she was from St. Louis. And I like. Is that in Mizzou? Yeah. Missouri. San Luis. And Isn't that the capital? Yeah. Yeah. And I just Who remember, knows? like, whenever I order Missouri it, City. I have to remind myself, I'm like, I am from California. Like, yeah. Th- there was oh. probably a very real chance that she hadn't heard of it. This is like the milk. epicenter of alt milks, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, and, and of kombucha. Cashew milk. Kombucha. And kombucha. <gasps> I was like in Vegas kombucha. when we were trying to find hard kombucha, and no, everyone was like, what, what is that? That's right. I yeah. remember that. Mm-hmm. Well, and that was like the last time we were in Hawaii. We couldn't find those canned cocktails anywhere either. Like the cut uh, waters, the cut waters yeah. hadn't made it to Hawaii last summer. Uh, well, yeah, that's waters. a good. That's and a now they're everywhere. Company, I feel right? like now they're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and Crazy. I feel like San Diego in general is like really the we're just on the cutting edge. We're, we're on the, the cutting, cutting edge. freaking edge. We've got good beer. We've got good it's coffee. It's because it's picky people in L.A. Yeah, I don't know though. I, I mean, mean, that's that's like all your health stuff. Like I feel, I feel like, like they kombucha in San Diego, started they there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel like kombucha really started here too, though. Yeah, I don't know where Kombucha know. Dave start. Ah, uh, that's true. Kombucha know. Dave. That guy's terrifying. Him. Terrifying. Oh, I love that video. I don't know. He, he, tets, he drinks a little of every batch, remember? He does. He Which is a little, yeah. crazy to me. Oh, little drinks, cap. He tests every batch of kombucha. Crazy. So gross. So gross. Uh, watch that Cody Co video if you get the chance. It's crazy. We're just built different down here in San Diego. That's all I'm saying. Is, we are is built We got different. good stuff over here. Well, it's raining today, and uh, I love the rain. I just want to say that. That nothing makes me want to not go to work and... <laughs> Yeah. You're vibing, yeah, but you, you you're vibing this weather in. right now. Is that what you're saying? Well, kind of. Nice. Like, yeah, I I love it when it's cold. Like, you get to wear all your fun jackets. Like, mm-hmm. San Diego mm-hmm. for eighty five percent of the year is yep. like always hot, which is what we love about it. Yeah. But that fifteen percent when it's like raining and you like, 
I, I think I've said this on this podcast before. I'm a huge accessory guy. I, I love yes. I yes. love to have a jacket your coat on. and your scarf <laughs> huge and your hat. I, I love it. I think it's great. Big in accessories. I'm and with th- you. There's only 15 percent of the year that I can like break them out. So and when I when I got up this morning, it was raining, and I was like, Whew. "How are you doing with this uh, time change? You like the dark?" Well, <laughs> the time change happened on the worst day probably for me because yeah. it was like the busiest day. Literally from like 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Damn. where I was like doing, going okay, the whole Okay, but that night we were doing something cool. Yeah, yeah. John and I worked a wedding together at the Wild <gasps> Animal Park. Which, wow. by the way, Which the Wild Animal Park, park Great have, for your, weddings. have your wedding there is insane. The venue that it's we were at crazy. was out of control. Like literally it's like this little, almost like a little lookout perch area. And there's straight up like giraffes and rhinos, like right. You could see wow. that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Like, like for the they, ceremony. It, like, like it's literally just down a little, like not even like a hill, like a little, like it's in the big, like open area because yeah. I it, it overlooks it. it. I know this has been a thing it. for a while, but now they have these like, habitats where they have all these different types of animals in the same habitat mm-hmm. which when i grew up like the zoo it was like everybody well, had their um, have every, everybody had their like little pen right and that was it so seeing them interact in the same thing i kind of made me nervous i was telling annie we were we were driving we were getting escorted from like the vendor parking lot to the venue and you have to you drive go through like right all, through it yeah right through this right little through tram. The and i was looking around and i was like my brain was having a hard time registering seeing like rhinos and giraffes like so close to each other, but then the lady was explaining. She's like, "They like they do this in the wild," and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's right. They do this in the wild." I just like couldn't put it together. That's because you know I don't know. I grew up in a- just like the savanna, right? It, the it was savanna. really. I will say it was really cool to see it. And then I was talking to one of the guests at the wedding, and he was like, "This is amazing," and I was like, "Yeah, I know." I was like, "I can't believe." Like I was telling him what I just said. Like I can't believe he said the same like, thing. He's like, just, "This is what they do well, in the no, wild." He, you he, idiot. He literally goes. He goes, well, there's no predators, so this is like the that's best true. thing for them. Because like true. he's like, if they threw a predator in there, they'd be terrified. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> that's right. You're right. Like a lion. Dang. Wait, aren't there lions there? Well, though? no, that's but what she said. But not running around she with all the other the lion livestock. In like tigers and whatnot are like right next to it, and so every once in a while the wind will pick up the scent. And yeah. she says you can tell all the animals are like, <laughs> <laughs> this is not cool. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> well, that's like. Uh, this thing oh. keeps reconnecting to the switch. Uh, don't worry yeah, about it. Don't worry about um, it. Ooh, Emma, as a Girl Scout trip, got to spend the night at the Wild Animal Park because yes, they, they have little a tents. Sleepover right next, so we, it was right next to that where the wedding was, and it's right next to the lions too. So they said at night, all they could hear were the lions. Scary. Well, and then I found out. Um, Scary. What did we? There was one animal that was nocturnal that I like. Really Hippos, surprised. raccoons. Hippos. Hippos were nocturnal. are nocturnal. That's terrifying. Yeah, no idea. What's scary about like, that? Swimming around the water. She was she was <laughs> saying that um, she's like I used to go to the zoo like during the day and the hippos were like just, like, just kind of oh. sitting there and they're like th- and then she's like I knew that they I knew as a kid like they were the most dangerous animals to like, yeah. come in contact with and I was like this they don't seem that scary to me but then <laughs> our person was like <laughs> Annie and they're Al. terrifying <laughs> they're like at night they are like no I, I remember hearing that too like, like those are the the like most the aggressive most animal. aggressive. Or hippos. And here's here's uh. like seven year old Andy being like, like I could take I him. I could take him. I could take him. <laughs> Look, he's just sitting. Anything. He's just sitting there. He's just swimming around <laughs> in the water. I was mesmerized with all. And then we, you know, we started naturally because my wife Jordan also worked as the photographer. So all three of us were just like badgering this poor. Cor- uh, ven- uh, oh, venue I think coordinator. That we might be banned. Yeah. What? She, she was. She thought we were cool though. She was. She was the, laughing. The, the coordinator liked us, but the, we literally we pull up. We all arrive at the same time. We park. This poor like sixteen year old. I don't remember what, what was. His I know name? his name. His name's Caleb. Caleb. Yeah. Caleb comes. He has to ask us questions to make sure we don't have like some sort of bird flu to. Oh we're not going to accidentally kill animals. You didn't and believe just, me. I said it was for animal safety. And you're like, it's not for animal. And I was like, Caleb, we, it's for animal safety. He's we like, started yeah, like right. automatically full personality. Our our full selves. As right if we fresh. were doing the podcast. Big mistake. Essentially, like, big mistake. Oh like, no. And Jordan starts roasting us, and we're like all going off, and we have to keep like. 
reiterating like we're all friends we're like, friends like we're, we're friends. cool we we don't just hate He's each like, other yeah. we're friends security <laughs> seriously we're like caleb come on tell him it's you don't care about animal safety this is your own personal thing oh you god keep, we were totally razzing him so hard oh it was like god. not like, I was like Ooh, maybe this is too far i don't know and then there was like another guy who's obviously like caleb's superior that was standing we're right, like trying right. to joke with him too and he was just like stone faced like yeah mm-hmm. I, I tried talking to that guy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was doing my exit, or I was I was doing my gear load in, yeah. and he was like, he's getting he's trying to go into IT though, and I was like, he's like he told me he's like everybody here is trying to become an animal specialist, which is like working with yeah. animals. Yeah. And he's like he's like I'm here for the IT. There's like there's no competition here. <laughs> he's, he's like, like my, everyone wants my to work first with love animals. the computer. <laughs> he really he's like he literally everyone said, here is so obsessed with these wild animals. <laughs> Me, leave me with my Ethernet cables and my <laughs> Wi-Fi router, and that's enough for me. He okay, literally bro. said, "He's like, I like the animals. Like, I could give or take them, but <laughs> like, the some people here Don't really the love the animals." And I was like, well, it "That's makes why they sense. work there. It makes sense, though." Because like, what if I told you that there's other places that also need IT? <laughs> He was not feeling it. Oh, he did not. But guy. it was a lot of fun. So we were poor badgering guy. the poor venue coordinator, and she was. And we were like, "So, what's the we're craziest getting, thing you've seen?" You know, all the tea. Nothing. Nah. But you could. You can pay. It's like a thousand dollars to do like an animal interaction during your reception. What? The didn't couple didn't it. decide um, to do it, didn't which do is it. okay. But we were all like. We wanted to throw like like throw money in to make it happen. We're like we'll do it right now. Go get, an animal. Because go get, go an get animal. it. You, you can guys, pretty much do anything. It'd be like a porcupine. It, 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 what, you can do a porcupine. Do you think they'd bring no. a rhino with a little leash? No, because yeah. yeah. you can Come do a on. kangaroo. You can do a porky. She gave yeah. us the list. It's like, a lot. She literally it's not, us, maybe no. it's different at the at the wild animal no. park. We worked a, a wedding at the zoo. Yeah, and there was a whole they did the same of animals. It was like. A little badger, a little, a little bird porcupine, came through, a little sloth on a on yeah. a stick. Yeah, I don't. I think I would be more interested in paying for it if I got like that, like you multiple want, animals. Oh, okay, you, this you could only get one. Oh. And that was like, which uh, one are you picking? I the, see. I kind of thought was, about that. Jordan wanted a gorilla. <laughs> <really> <laughs> oh, she wanted gorilla. a gorilla. Really we hard. found out that gorillas, their little like club or their little like group, is called a troop. In the a zoo, the troop. San Diego Winston Zoo's, is the troop leader. Yeah, the San Diego Zoo's troop leader is a gorilla named Winston. What do they Winston. start doing improv no. like in the middle of the day no, or something? No, no, I love it. The best part about it was the fact that they just started like a couple months ago letting the gorillas and the monkeys stay out during the night. They don't have to go into their room. Oh, All the other dear. animals have to go into their room. <laughs> and they said they caught them like laying in their hammocks, like staring at the stars. Yeah. Like they were just so yeah, enamored like by. Except we're for not Winston, so different, you and I. Winston likes to stay inside where the heaters are. So. All right, yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's why, why he's, he's a troop leader. That's, that's why, why Winston's smarter than all the other gorillas. <laughs> he was like, "You idiots, go sit in the cold. That's I'll funny. be here next to the heater." <laughs> okay, so you're going all in with your wife, gorilla. Uh, no, I'm not. I oh, think okay. what Certainly I would not. do, I would do the, the 10-foot snake. They had a 10-foot snake, and I thought that would be cool. The, like, like a, python? Yeah, ball yeah. python or yeah, something. Yeah, something like, like, like that. Yellow, yellow ones. yellow ones, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, it, was, it, was called, it was called Monty Python. or Monty, <laughs> yeah, Monty. And then there was, nice. an, an, oh, there was another one. I can't Monty remember Monty Python. There's the other Monty, snake? There's another snake that yeah. was, had a funny, funny name. That's I'll funny. tell you, though. Python. I was telling Jordan, I was like, I love their wedding, but if I could go back... I would pay for the, the for the safari park. Wedding. I mean, you're at the mm. safari park, like so it was cool. cool. And I mean, like it was, it okay. was easy-ish. Like they had a full staff. They had a full, sure, like, that's good. They had bar good. doing bar. They had all the tables. Would you set recommend the venue? I mean, well, yeah, maybe we, maybe we vendor, shouldn't broadcast that out. Oh, okay, great. As a event, it was great. It's inconvenient in the sense that I'm so used to smaller venues. Where like I can run back and forth from my car. Right. Oh, you could not. You could not, not at all. run to your no. car. No, but and this that was, was the like, same with the zoo. You have to just like prepare. But for But these yourself. were like animal people. They love animals. Oh, was, They're like, let's have our wedding there. It was such a cool. Got it. No, so their whole thing is they come here. They went there on dates all the time. Uh, Adorable. They, they uh, always went to the wild animal adorable. park. Adorable. And so I they're like, that. when they f- decided to get married, they're like. Well, like, if we could have a dream wedding, where mm. would we have it? And they found out you could do it at the Wild, wild Animal Park. Mm. And the venue they actually ended up getting was an upgrade uh, because the venue they were, they, like, purchased. There's, like, six of them. 
I didn't know that. Yeah, what there's the a bunch heck? at the zoo too. Um, but the venue they purchased went under construction right before their wedding, mm. and so they upgraded them to their best venue for free. That's wow. awesome. And that's what the lady was saying. She's like, "This venue is like the coolest one." She and so cool. She was mm. saying because I was asking her, and I looked like an idiot. Of course, we all looked like idiots. I was I was asking her. I was like, because I look at like this giant field essentially, where okay. like rhinos and everything mm. coexists, and they and they stay out there. They don't Beautiful. go back to their rooms, right? Super nice. And I was like, there's got to be some sort of system where, like, somebody's monitoring them, right? Yeah. Because, like, what if something bad happens in the middle of the night, right? They're all together. Like, I'm not saying they're going to attack rhino. each other, but at the same time, like, they're still animals, you they know? probably get that all the time, right? Right. And she said that they apparently just recently, there is a camera system, like, that they are constantly monitoring, but there also is, like, care animal care specialists that used to be on call. Now they're, like, there's, like, a night shift of people that yeah. take Did care it, of animals. Didn't something happen recently where one of the tours was going on? on and it broke down and they had to corral all the animals i have a story to tell oh. you is that is that, am i thinking of the right thing story. it didn't happen recently story. it happened to my family oh, oh. Yes. right like 15 years ago no more than that like Set 20 years ago this was like 20 years ago and so there is a, a tour that you get on this tram yeah. and it drives through the big you know savannah enclosure yeah. they have right Oof. if one of the rhinos wanted to pummel you the kid and they're, it's literally open you know they're, yeah. they usually run away from the the thing yeah. but you're just like out there with the animals this thing with me and my mom and my brother and Granny. my aunt and my cousin and my grandma all are on the tram, right? Yeah. It breaks down in the out in the middle of the field. They're like, okay, like everyone just be chill. Like we're going to get you off, you know, <laughs> You're like be really chill. Safely, we're going to get this thing fixed. <laughs> we stayed on that thing for like hours. The yeah. sun set. It was dark. We were all out there. They had to like bring flashlights and lanterns and start eventually like they realized, okay, we can't get this fixed. We just have to start escorting people out. So they walked us through the freaking Savannah, like to the nearest exit, all these people. And I would be terrified. We were just like, you know, I was little. So I, I hear this story more than I remember it. But Tani just says how that she's so happy they brought snacks <laughs> and they Obviously, they gave us all vouchers. They we yeah. all got to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 They're like, sorry, half your day was on this tram. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. so lame, Shame. crazy. The at um the wedding that we were at at the zoo, um it was like literally during their vows, the fire alarm went off <gasps> and just kept going off through oh. the rest of their ceremony. Fun, mm -hmm. fun, fun, I forgot fun, about that. Yeah, wow. That's and it was be a like disaster. that. Pretty miserable. Ma, ma. And you're like, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, yeah what what was it? Going. That was about right. Yeah. Well, there's a couple different ones, so it's good to get yeah. the right one. Yeah. 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 You can never yeah. <laughs> truly tell. I'm just saying that was really cool as an experience for a vendor. Like, so cool. But then I also thought, like, this is a really good idea. But you were rallying all the other vendors. Like, hey, how much money you got? Like, yeah, let's, let's, get, no. let's get these people a giraffe. Shit. Genuinely, we were all like, hey, I, have you I, leaned your tip Annie, I leaned over to Annie one time and I was like, I would have waived my like entire fee to have an animal here. <laughs> I, I would have done it for free. You're crazy. Just to have an animal. And I get it though. Like, you know, okay, so, what so what animal are you picking? I got to know. What's the favorite animal in the whole zoo? I, I said the snake. I think the snake oh, yeah, would you be said cool. the snake. Because it's, yeah, yeah. it's the biggest animal I think you can get with, you know, because. Um, the other one's no. gorilla. No, you can't get a, you can't get a gorilla. You can't get that. No, no. I'm saying I'm saying is you're, you could. you're the man. You're John Zoo, and they're you're bringing John out an animal. Oh, anything? Sure, sure. Oh, I would get an elephant. That would be boss. Yeah. That would be yeah. boss. I, would, I love those. Yeah. Animals. No, I want a full grown African elephant, yeah, and I want sure. to get pissed. I want sure. To, oh, you <gasps> want it to charge you? Yeah, I want it to and charge kill you. <laughs> your last okay. moments. That would be Ooh, awesome. Kind of cool. Okay, wait, hold on. There's a story. Kick it around to Annie. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the Best answer I told the lady was I wanted. <laughs> Not the cheetah, but the dog that they have with the cheetah. Stop. Just the lab. Lab. It's like the Okay. Labrador. That's the most <laughs> Annie answer. <Yeah>. Perfect. Because <laughs> like, we so were joking funny. about how, friend. how funny it would be if like, you know, you you like pay this thousand dollars and you're like, actually, can I just get like a dog? <laughs> and they're I like, you guys have any like dog? cats? All these the animals? Dog? <laughs> We have a couple so goldfish in this tank if you want to see them. For an animal interaction. Oh my god! Like, and it's a dog. Can I get the lab that like hangs out? He's with kind of a cheetah? celebrity to me. Oh, I see uh, the cheetah. What's that animal next to it? Can I get that one? That's a dog. That's a dog. That's, that's, that's the one. We, we use them to like Perfect. hang out and calm them down. Okay, I'll take that I'll one. Take that. Kara, go ahead. Um, I would either say a baby elephant or a cheetah. Okay, baby you gotta choose elephant. one. Choose one. John already right. chose elephant, so you're going cheetah. with cheetah. Okay. okay Ryan, they stopped doing big cats. They used to be able to do like smaller cats, but you can't do it anymore. 
<gasps> what do you mean do? They get like, COVID. Hang out Bring them in for interaction. Yeah, it was on um, the list. Because oh. cats are susceptible to COVID. So once COVID starts, Whoa. they're all on wow. the list. Yeah, it was really good. That we, I, I was like going to start making fun of her for that. Because she's like, well, you know, with COVID. You're and like, I was oh, like, what? what? Do oh, yeah, get COVID? COVID? They're like, yeah. And then and she we lost like, three cheetahs. She's cheetos. like, yeah, co- like cats are really susceptible to COVID. We lost three cheetahs. That is yeah, so intense. Yeah. Yeah. I love that this whole cheetos. gig, you guys were just like roasting the girl. Like, what the heck? No, she was great. And <laughs> yeah. she knew yeah. a lot. Yeah. At one point, she was telling us all this stuff. And I went, is there like a newsletter? You get all this stuff? Like, how do you know? Because she's an event coordinator. I work here. Well, I, I just imagine like she's just super passionate and she obviously like knows she right. has the yeah. stories, right. but I'm like, she, she she's not really story. in like the realm of, you know, knowing all that stuff. I think all the koalas were getting COVID too oh, at the I zoo, weren't koala. they? Sad. That's, I would do a Sad. koala. A no, okay. I do remember the cheetahs. My yeah. animal of choice. Capybara. 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 I don't understand. They're so They're scary. like giant guinea pigs. The giant guinea pigs. They're Ooh. adorable. Pretty cute. They're actually. fuzzy. Pretty they're cute. Just, they yeah. vibe out. That's it. That, no. That's it. That's, that's it. And that's it. Great. And that Show over. It. And yeah. if I, you know, if I would have won that Powerball, right, yeah. I would have bought a whole farm of capybars. Do you, do you Just think? You, do you think you'd buy a zoo if, if you Hirsch, had that kind of money? Castle. That that Powerball money, like Matt Damon. No, we like, bought a zoo. We bought a zoo. Oh, I thought you were gonna do like William Hurst, Hurst Castle, and he made his own mansion oh, with the zoo. With the he zoo, did, yeah. didn't he? he did. And then when he died, they released the animals. Yep. And there are still wild zebras running around Northern California. I'm going to go all in and say I would do it the Matt Damon way. I'd probably just buy marry Scarlett zoo. Johansson and buy a zoo. Oh, that's yeah. smart. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, of course, of course. I think you're married to But you brought up a, a great point. The, uh, the Powerball hit. Can you believe one ticket Two one two point four billion. He, yeah, only one person won. One person won the whole yep. two billion dollars at a place in somewhere in L.A. <sighs> somewhere in Los Angeles. Well, yeah, it was like two hours. Yeah, it was that weird town. I don't know. I was reasoning in it my was head like, like Alameda, but yeah. it wasn't Alameda. It was like Ali, Aliada. Ali, I was I in know. the work pool and I didn't buy in this uh. last time. So Sport. so glad they didn't win. I was like, if I would have bought a <laughs> ticket, would that have changed the odds? Like, do you ever think about like the um, butterfly effect? Like one yeah. thing changes another thing. Like yeah. if I would have bought a ticket, wings. would it have changed all the numbers? So like maybe somebody else would have won, like, or would sure. I have won, you know? Well, I think. Because <laughs> I, f- I fully forgot to buy a ticket. I think, it, I think once that ticket was purchased, which who knows when it was. I think that's when, if you had purchased it after, it wouldn't have mattered. Because it would have to have been before that person purchased it. would have to have been before it. the person purchased it. It's like Schrodinger's cat. Like, was that the number when they bought it? Like, did that become the winning ticket? Or was oh. that decided? Or did know, someone fate? buy a ticket right before they bought their Predestination. ticket? Predestination. That's a good yeah. question. Uh, I don't know. To think about. Two billion dollars is a lot of money. So I, much. Like they were saying, even like with taxes, it's like one point. You're easily walking away with one point three or four. The post that I think they posted was like, "Somebody's a billionaire in California." I was like, "Wow!" wow. The fact that it was in California too was like kind of. It's like of me. course, Same, right? Yeah. Like of course. that could have been us. Yeah, nah. I mean, billionaire Pass. like. 1.4 billion. Hold on. Pass. Yeah, you would. She needs attention. Pass? Tell us Go why ahead, you passed. <laughs> Tell us why you we passed. Could, we could, talk we about could this buy before. an entire house to use as our studio. A whole house. A house? We could buy a zoo. We could have a zoo <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> or a warehouse. A no, listen, show. listen. We we do talk about the lottery quite a bit on this and show. And I've already said, I've seen someone. First of all, I don't think, I think my, I have lost all odds of winning a lottery. Okay. Because I feel like it's that kind of thing of like, if you know someone who won the lottery, what are the odds that two people Wait, who know each who other win the lottery? Who do you know? Who do you know that won the lottery? No, I remember this. this multiple this, times. The woman out my friend, my the, uh, family the friend, yes. now she's in jail. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. What yeah, are the yeah. odds Remains two to be people named. who know each other win the lottery? Like, Okay, but they do so. a lottery every week. They're going to do another one next week. It won't be a billion dollars, but... I'm just saying, like it'll probably be like somebody's got to win it. Every it'll probably time. start at like 15 million. I think we should start playing it. A bill mm-hmm. now, a billion dollars. That's like fu money. We talk yeah, about like what would you do? <laughs> you buy like a nice house. Yeah. You buy a, a no. jet, maybe. Uh, you buy like, a billion dollars. I could buy each and every one of you. A billion like, dollars is literally like I'm tipping you. my waiter ten thousand dollars tonight. Oh, ten thousand. Oh, yeah. Boom. Dream bigger. At Taco Bell. Dream bigger. I'm buying this Taco Bell. Oh my gosh. Straight up. Like you could just start living like a ridiculous Nicolas Cage lifestyle. I will say that if I, I, and we talk again, we talk about a lot of the show. I would, my first move would be buying like investments to make it last. Cause I, even though it's $1 billion, I would still be so You don't think a billion dollars will last your whole life? No, No, I would be terrified. I would burn bright and 
be done. I'd I would probably try and spend it within really? like 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> smart. I'd buy a bunch of businesses that are already going and then they just make you more money. That's all. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, that, that way if sure. your money goes tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I'll tell oh. you what. First thing I'm buying. I'd buy 10 or not 10. I'd buy a thousand vending machines. I'm going to buy <laughs> each you. and every one of you guys a blue check mark on Twitter. That's <gasps> what I'm going to buy. Uh, you. How you much buy is those? that? Oh, you haven't heard. You okay. So them. for those that are unaware, uh, Elon Musk. He did it, right? He bought yeah, Twitter. He bought Twitter. He's he did feeling it. great. And he is on an absolute tirade. He yep. is actively ruining Twitter. Apparently, great. ever since uh, this, they said this this weekend, ever since Elon Musk, apparently his whole thing is like, bring back free speech to Twitter. The use of the N word has gone up 500 <gasps> percent on Twitter. <laughs> Oh Holy my crap. gosh! Psychotic, right? Oh, oh yeah, he's geez. really doing it. They're implementing. He he fired like half of the staff at Twitter or something. Twenty four hundred employees. Twenty four hundred employees, and they've implemented something where you can buy your blue check mark, your verified check. So dumb. Now, you might be wondering, hey, if I'm a celebrity, like, what does that mean for me? No, celebrities are getting a white check mark. Yep. <laughs> but you can buy now as just a simpleton for eight dollars. A blue check mark. Okay, I'm sorry. And eight dollars. So, you're not so, even. You're not even verified. So you formerly, just have to buy it. so formerly, no ID. the verified account is going from a blue check mark to a white check mark, and now you, a simpleton, can it's buy a blue system. check mark. It's the class system. <laughs> the upper class is now the That's white right. check mark. That's right. The middle class you, is now you can buy blue your way. It's like it's more like a caste system. You can buy yeah. your way in to s- out of serfdom. And uh, um, nice. so, what yeah. does blue check get you? Other than Nothing. Nothing. Not a darn thing. A little blue check mark next yep. to your name. To feel and, good. And when I win the lottery, I'm going to buy one for you, all of you. That's guys. really Listen, nice you have of you. To wait. If Thank they're you. only $8, you're not going to buy it to us. 24 bucks. What am, I, what am I made of money? Hey, Christmas is coming, right? Yeah. Just chill. Oh, for real. That would be oh, man. so True funny. True that. Just chill. Just chill. <laughs> Just chill. <laughs> Just chill. No, that would be crazy. Unless. Wait, can you cut to my camera? That would be crazy. <laughs> She's got it. Oh, you're on me. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Just you oh, wait. Wow, well, that's insane. Yeah, pretty insane. <laughs> that's pretty insane. insane. It's kind of cool. Yeah. What Guys. do you think, Jen? So, what I, would your like shell businesses be? Like, you buy some businesses. Oh, and, I would buy. I would just. I think I would just buy like franchises. You know, like Taco Bell that, I know. and like set them up to make money because then when the money runs out, which we know it will. Bro, you could one by one start buying fast food restaurants in San Diego. You till pretty every soon you own all yeah. the fast food. So you could walk into any place and be like, hey, what's up? Like, I'm talk about it. Thank you. I'm the owner. That's what I'm saying. I wow. Like, with a billion it? dollars, of course you could, right? I would buy Hallmark. That is the a card money. company. No, Hallmark. Like yeah, the channel? Like the card company? Yeah, the card. Yeah, like the Hallmark movie. Just making. everything? Hallmark? Whatever the movie company is. Wait, that's, yeah, you think it's, how much do you think Hallmark is worth? Oh, oh, they make movies and, 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 and no, so I'm you, just saying if you, you bought them, buy them. Is that if you bought them, dollars? you would buy also them. buy all their stores. The Hallmark stores. Oh yeah, are she's going all in awesome. on Hallmark. Hallmark. Cha-ching. Okay, so uh, you clearly have a pitch for a movie then. So what's your Christmas uh, movie pitch? Well, I'm just saying I could make whatever the hell movie I want. That's, that's true. What Hallmark okay, does. so you walk they in the door. By the way, you can't afford Hallmark. How much? <gasps> How much is you it? Can't afford it? With that lottery winnings, you cannot afford Hallmark. How much with, a, Hallmark? with a billion dollars? Yeah, Hallmark is worth four billion dollars. I knew they oh. were worth good money. Wow. wow. Okay, we all okay. win a billion dollars. So let's say we all <laughs> we win. We all buy Hallmark. Okay, but you're going to have to walk in that front door and they're going to say, okay, we'll sell you Hallmark, but you have to pitch a movie to us, Annie. Oh, and pitch I, the Hallmark let's hear movie. It. Let's so hear it. Okay, this is Annie's all, Christmas romance movie. No, I want it to be complicated. Don't make, don't yes, make it yes, simple. Yes, yes. Oh, it's Come on. a Christmas movie? It has to be. It has to be, yep. Got it. Yes. Or, yeah. No, I got it. I already got okay, it. No, okay, 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 okay. Shut, <laughs> up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're going to make me lose it. You're going to make me lose it. <laughs> this girl comes back from her big corporate lawyer job to find the spirit of Christmas. She doesn't believe in Christmas. She grew up in a, I don't know, cult. Okay. She grew up in a, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> she grew up in a cult, and she goes back to the small town where she was first born. Um, before she got kidnapped to the cult. Now we're adding kidnapping. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's kind of a scary it's movie. Hallmark <laughs> <laughs> Christmas mysteries. <laughs> she goes back. She meets a local baker. Oh, sorry. sorry. She meets a local baker. And you, she, she finds out that he has a shady past. 
and he too is trying to find the spirit of Christmas. But unfortunately, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. So they have to bring this small town and <laughs> bring Christmas joy to everyone around them. And they cancel Thanksgiving. And it's called. And they fall and it's in called. Love, and it's called Kidnap for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Crap up. Oh, I love um, it. Right. I mean, it's a good start. By the way, the best part of that situation was you making dead eye contact with the camera that's up, like, yeah, on yeah. the wall. You were literally <laughs> like this. And Christmas game. It's a good start, but I, I think John needs a pass at it. Go well, ahead, John. Okay. Oh, John. Okay, John. Ah, oh, wow. Let's see. You've seen wow. that. You've seen a million wow. of them. You know how they go. This Christmas season. One hard-hitting report, New York reporter. Yes, yes. Comes back to her, her small hometown, back in Arkansas, <laughs> only to meet the man that got away. Her high school sweetheart, who she swore she'd never run back to. He owns a bakery now. Yep. It's a bakery. They're all bakeries. Yeah. They're all bakeries. They but really also, are. They are. Bakeries but also, towns. also a bank. Yeah. Oh, he he owns the whole town. He owns the whole town. But little does she know, he's got a secret. He owns the whole town. But he's not looking for a gold digger. He's looking for okay. her. Connection. Connection. Love. Connection. Thank you. We'll could you do that together. And that's it. They get married and that's it. And it's called? And it's called Bank on Love this Christmas. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Thank you. Nice. Kara's turn. Really nice. I mean, oh, nice. You got a week. You got a week. We, we, we got to hear from Kara. We got to oh, hear from Kara. Kara. Okay, okay, okay. You got this, Ready. Kara. You got Are you ready <laughs> to hear the most beautiful, the most joyous, the most holiday-rific story you've ever heard this Christmas season? Well, meet Candace. Yep. <laughs> she grew up in the big city of LA. And she's decided to move across the world to London. She needs to get away, get away from the big city. Get to, away from her parents. London? Get away from her ex fiance. Ooh. They ended on bad terms. <laughs> she moves to London. Side note. How many ex fiances decides... end on good terms? Go ahead. <laughs> yep. She, she ends up finding this quaint cottage in the countryside of Canterbury. And she loves it. She makes it her own. She is there for one week. And she has explored everywhere. She feels like she's met everyone in this small town. And then one day, she's walking down the street. And she sees, she sees this man. And she locks eyes with him. And he sees her. And she stumbles. Okay, wait, this is not a trailer. <laughs> this is the full play-by-play. This play. is the full thing. She stumbles. <laughs> and he helps her before she trips. And they look into each other's eyes. And they knew that they were meant for each other. He tells her, I'm the Duke of Canterbury. <gasps> the Duke. Okay, and this is called... <laughs> and this is called... And this is called... Christmas in Canterbury. The Duke of Canterbury. <laughs> Christmas in Canterbury. A Canterbury Expect. Christmas. Yes. Oh, oh, so good. Little long, but oh. you had an incredible so detail. I mean, you had, you had <laughs> us. You had, you had us you right had there. Ryan. All right, Ryan. Let's see what you got, bud. I got you. His family celebrated Christmas. Oh, no. Her family celebrated Hanukkah. <laughs> when they meet accidentally on the train heading back to their hometown, they fell in love. But what do these two different families have in common? A love like no other. Coming this year to Hallmark Channel. All I want for Christmas is Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my oh, gosh. Uh, Ryan. That it's funny. was funny. <laughs> That's very good. Come on. Oh, they they need that up over there. Hello, what's that? Hello, Mark? Hello, Mark. Wait, you want to you you buy band? all of our pitches? Band. 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 
And you definitely, can't even watch I, it. I would put money on the fact that probably somewhere in their catalog, those stories it's already exist. Yeah. 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 Uh, they already uh, exist. The bakery ones are, are, uh, are already sure. done. I mean, the Duke of Canterbury sound, sounded good. pretty familiar to me, but. Yeah, Christmas Prince. <laughs> yeah. Christmas Prince. Oh, wait, what? It have actually... you seen a Christmas Prince? No, I haven't You've seen You've never that seen a Christmas Prince? No, mine's, yeah. mine's a little bit different. Christmas Prince is with TV. Vanessa Hudgens, oh. and it's about, she like goes to tutor. Oh, no. Very Vanessa strong Hudgens plot line. I'm getting, mm-hmm. I'm getting a know. really strong no, plot no, no. line from you. This one is. <laughs> okay. She finds love, and it's Christmas this time. This one isn't Vanessa Come Hudgens' one. <laughs> no, she goes to tutor in this like bougie mansion and bougie. she doesn't know that it's royalty it's and then she falls in love with the guy right. and he ends up being right. the Of course the he does. It's the Christmas, the Christmas prince. prince. The Christmas What's prince? Like, and they've made three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. Love I, so here, it, yesterday, Murder. you guys will be so excited to hear this. Okay. Speaking of Christmas movies, my roommate and I watched The Grinch yesterday. Oh. Uh, She'd never seen it. A classic. You played a it for classic. her when it's not even the Christmas time yet? Um, well, that's we okay. Watched it the and other here's day too. the debate, Kara. Okay, that's up for it interpretation. It is Christmas time. What is today's date? Today is November, November 8th. 8th. When and does Christmas, Christmas time start? Christmas okay, time starts the after Thanksgiving. Oh, stop, stop. Time I have an here. argument for that. I found it on TikTok today. I follow this girl who lives in Denmark. And she brought up this amazing point. The it's rest freaking of the, Christmas there all year long in well, Denmark. The rest of the world doesn't have the American Thanksgiving. The rest of the world, it's Christmas. Christmas time has started. This is the beginning of the Christmas holidays because they don't have another holiday. So you let other countries like dictate what you do? Hell yeah, yeah. Oh, I do. so what are they doing over oh, there? Oh, I'm sorry, because I'm cultured. Okay, so over there in, in Japan right now, it's November 9th. So I guess today's November <laughs> 9th, too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's even more Christmas season. I don't know. Today. Boo. I say, I like I say Christmas. bad reasoning. I look, I like Christmas as much as the next guy, but we got to give credit where credit's due, and November is the month of Thanksgiving. Fall. Thanksgiving is yeah. pre Christmas dinner. It's for everyone to test out their Christmas dishes. Okay, that mm. is. That's, mm. that's, is that true to you, John? No, that's pretty cool. We don't have the same long. dishes. Yeah, yeah, that is we don't do a, a big Christmas dinner akin to Thanksgiving dinner. We'll do like. In the past, we've done like a prime rib. Yeah, for Christmas or dinner. More, more often, we'll go out to like a Benihana type restaurant. Really? Every year on, on Christmas, like, the Tafoyas would go to this place called Fuji, and it's like Benihana, but now it's um, closed. unfortunately closed. They recently closed the Fuji, but but that's the only kind of like restaurants uh, aside from like really fancy restaurants that do like christmas eve dinner or whatever um not a lot of places open on christmas i knew somebody who like they're my grandparents friends and uh they were a couple and they did like the traditional christmas dinner like you know sh- sh- the the wife would make like this you know st- steak and potatoes like very sure. traditional like love and then when he passed away she was like I'm not making any more traditional dinner. <laughs> like, nice. we're, we're having Chinese for the rest of, nice. you know, of my existence. And they still do. Well, that's say. what we do. Or that's what Phillies mm. do. Is Christmas, Christmas Eve is Chinese food. After church, yeah, I can't and imagine then, your dad doesn't want to cook this year, though. He's he's on a he's on he a does Christmas. Christmas. He still, he still cooks every year. Uh, Christmas Eve dinner. Christmas, Christmas dinner. No Christmas dinner. Mm. And that's normally that's right. the that's right. like literally prime rib for days. Yeah, yeah. for days. A lot of meat. Well, a lot of meat. My Way family meat. does Christmas Eve dinner. This is a new tradition since my brother-in-law has been around. My brother-in-law is Jewish. So they actually, so so yeah, great. So great. <laughs> fantastic. So I but love so, all, I love so all, is, all he, your sister wants for Christmas. <laughs> oh my God, is Jew. <laughs> right. I got it. No, that makes perfect right. sense. It makes perfect, perfect sense. sense. <laughs> um, but like, it, cool. and it's interesting because I feel like. I don't know. I feel like most of the Jewish kids I grew up with had like celebrated Christmas before. Even, sure. Like just in like, School. I don't know. Yeah. In like culture, he had never celebrated Christmas. Sure. Until he started dating my sister. Mm. And so she mm. made like a baby's first Christmas ornament for him. And he was Aww. like 26. Oh my God. He's that's like, horrible. It's like almost 30 in this picture. That's pretty funny. It's pretty He's... good. We put it up every year. Um, but so his family's tradition was to do Chinese food. Which I guess is a very big thing in the Jewish like community. It's mm-hmm. on like Christmas, you go. Well, eat it's, all, it's also because nowhere's open. Nothing else is yeah. open. Yeah. And so we started in honor of him. Christmas Eve, we go find Chinese mm-hmm. food. We eat love him. it. Mm-hmm. I love Chinese it. Food. That must be like. I wonder if they see like an uptick in, you know, just like business Chinese food places during the holidays. I feel like everybody, do, like, touches it is on kind it of just like a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's For also sure. like. 
the cliche in like movies. That's what I'm you saying. You see that yeah. a lot in movies. Story. Like I'm gonna get takeout Chinese takeout. Are you talking about movies in general or Christmas movies? Christmas movies. Yeah. yeah. Like, like like the, the plot story. where it's like yeah. the main person is alone. Like they got dumped or like they got ditched. Yeah. They're like, I'm gonna guess I'll order in Chinese food and they're like sitting alone. Oh, we talking Hallmark? Yes. Hallmark. Hallmark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're talking Hallmark. Their fiance's they ended on bad terms. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's right. Ex fiance. Ex fiance. I'll tell you bad what, terms. I bad am terms. excited just for the holiday season. I was telling somebody the other day, just like it's been a really crazy year. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, just yes, like in general, like j- good, uh, lots of good, you know, and, and some bad, you know, and some mix, but just feels like it's been a lot. And so it's feel like it's been an eternity since we've celebrated Christmas. You're going to celebrate your first married Christmas. Woo! I know. I, to- I told my work, I was like, listen, <laughs> I, right. I work Christmas and Thanksgiving, like uh, one or the other since I've started working there. Cause yeah. I'm like. I don't have a fa- like at the time when I was single. Yeah, you know, no family, like, no friends. No, I have, I no have a family, but I'm saying like I don't no have traditions. like kids or a, or a wife like at the time. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, oh sure, I'll work the night shift on Christmas because like it doesn't really matter. But I I told the person who does the getaway, I'm like, I really want Thanksgiving and Christmas off this year because it's the first year that I'm married. And uh, and she was like, yeah, I got you. And I was like, wow, something to live for. Me. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. something to live for. But I'm excited because <laughs> I miss. I, I just love all that. Like, yeah, me too. It's such such a fun time. Yeah, I'm stoked. I'm I'm ready for it. It's gonna be a Hallmark Christmas. I can it's feel gonna it. be a Woo! Hallmark Christmas. Look out for. <laughs> it's always the same. Hey, soundtrack. what's your what's your Thanksgiving soundtrack? There's not one. Take it for me. Yeah, <laughs> no. Take it for you. Let's eat turkey in and a big and brown shoe. Do. You know what I'm talking about? No. <gasps> no. I'm saying there. What? He His the big Thanksgiving turkey costume. Oh. Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's a special time. Is there any movie centered around Thanksgiving? There always, every year, a Thanksgiving tradition we've kind of started is they'll play a Saturday Night Live yeah. rerun special of all the Thanksgiving mm-hmm. skits. Skits. Oh, that's fun. And they'll play it at night. Like after the, you know, they do the Macy's Thanksgiving mm-hmm. Day Parade, right? And then they'll play all these reruns. And we've started just like watching them and... Did you guys ever watch the parade? We just love that. Yeah, uh, you big they parade people. They would throw people? it on at the desert. Like mm-hmm. someone's motorhome would have it on or something. Oh, that's right, because you were desert. Right. We, out there burning we man, always, right? Um, Bur- s- we the always burning man. slept in and missed it. Yeah. Well, I watched it. I mean, that was always the thing that was on in the background when we were like prepping because my family... I mean, still does, yep. but back in the day, you know, we had like, like our family was just mm-hmm. a lot bigger, you know? What time is Thanksgiving dinner Yeah, at your house? Or does the day start? So that's kind of controversial. So we, we do, we do one o'clock, which is kind of like our standard family time anyway. Uh, but then a lot of times people will stay through and like, we'll do something different for dinner. Like mm. I, everyone will stay through like pizza. But Black Friday shopping. When I was a kid, Black Friday shopping was a big deal. So, and as we know, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, we've but seen the death of it. Yeah, but like you know, the, you know, you guys are really trying to hammer that nail in, and I refuse. Back and I'm making plans <laughs> for the four, if not the five of us. To I have work on Black Friday, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, the four of us plus Jordan because I know Jordan. she's in. I know yeah, she's yeah. in. We're going Black Friday shopping. I no. did get John his Christmas present last year on Black Friday. You, you did. did. Yeah, yeah, the quesadilla maker. Thank the you. I maker. haven't used it in a while. I got to kind of weird. Yeah, what happened to quesadilla Friday? Kind of weird. I didn't get uh, invited to come that one. Back. That's, that's bizarre. That's bizarre. Uh, um, it's why important. didn't you? One oh, you got married. So one o'clock dinner time. That's important. We were giving you your space. So one o'clock dinner. Um, that's cool. And then we do like a, a three, yeah we were on a plane a three o'clock <laughs> no we were not oh day after Thanksgiving yes, we, we were, were. Yeah, yeah yeah so I don't want to you hear know that's it, not buddy. important that's not important that's probably why it sucked it's probably why it's true so it, it yeah because you weren't there well back yep. well, when we were kids though it was a thing like it, the time right. was getting was getting like bumped up so you would you always know, hear someone got trampled on that was back yeah. in the day when yeah people were like getting Dying. trampled out so in front we of the Walmart pretty quickly like doing the one o'clock you know all family thing and then kind of like half doing dinner but like really kind of going out and getting in line and that's when you know that's when everything happened but now like i said last year the, one of the one shift i like working which i'm doing this year is the midnight shift on thanksgiving because mm. it doesn't start till like 9 30 p.m Pass. 
and I get Friday off, which is Go great. ahead and get that off, eh? <laughs> no, I can't. Bro, it, we're going Black Friday shopping. We can go Black Friday shopping it's when done. I get off at 6 a.m. We'll go then. Oh, okay, damn. We'll go early Let's morning. Do, okay. do you want to know morning. how many people have died from Black Friday? Oh, <gasps> God. Is no. it? Tell is me it it's, jarring, it's I, I not, not triple di- digits. Oh, no, it's not triple digits. Oh. No. Oh, God, be ridiculous. Yeah. Where? In the world? Yeah, this is just Thank Black God. Friday. That would be really sad. Just in America. Thousands. It's counting back to 2001. Which is respectful. Mm. I think it's I think it's fifty seven. No, I think it's I think in it's the like past twenty one years. Black Friday shopping ninety three. I think it really peaked, like you were saying, like 2011, 2012. Yeah, yeah that was oh, a, this a big electronic year. Two thousand eight. This is two thousand one. Oh? Two thousand eight. Yeah, Let so that's kind of when it really was peaking. Electronics. I'm gonna say all in on one hundred people, ten people a year. It's not triple digit, triple digits. Less right? than a hundred. I'm going to say 99 people. <laughs> right? It's not true. It can't be 100. So, yeah. No. Go 99. Yeah, 99 go people. 99. I'm going 99. Well, what was your stat? Tell us the stat you had before. Yeah, now you're, you're kind no. of confusing the stat. Well, I found a more accurate oh, one. Oh, okay. Go oh, ahead. okay. Is it triple digits? No. Okay. 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 I'm sticking with 57. I think that's close. 57. Actually, I'm going to change my answer and say 75. I'm going to say 82. Okay. All right, here we go. We are at... 56. Oh. I killed it. Did you say 57? Yeah. Really? You lost your You killed over. it, John. No, that's Price not true. Right yeah, it's, it's, it's Price is Right not Rules. Not true. It's Price is Right Rules. You I was close. And over I was 200 close injuries. Why did you say 57? Oh. I just felt like it was in the 50s. Well, you went over, so it doesn't count. <laughs> you obviously <laughs> never watched Price is Right. <laughs> um, you guys, did you vote today? Oh. Oh. Oh, we just uh, people, come I on. Voted I voted. You earlier. still can. Voting polls are would, to close who, at 930. Would, were you going to vote yes on Measure D or no on Measure D? I, I filled that out so long ago, Ryan. I don't Did you know. drop it in your ballot? In, I sent it earlier. You sent it in. What was okay, Measure good. D? I don't know. I think Measure no, I don't even know what Measure D was. The big one was remember. the uh, gambling one, right? That the, was Prop that, 26 and 7. That was a big thing here in San Diego. We because were to, what were we supposed to vote? Yes or no? no. I don't even know. I think no. It was no. What was because what Because it was to allow phone sports betting, which oh. you're traditionally only, you can only mm-hmm. go to like a casino to do. And I think that's why they were pushing so heavily for it because it's like Native Americans are like but entitled then, to but then also the betting prop, that happens at casinos and it, it undercuts that. Prop 27 was like allowing the same stuff to be run by tribes outside of the reservation, but you still... It was still like, it was still bad. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I think a lot of those propositions are intentionally worded in a confusing way. Especially, that was the whole thing. It's like, we are voting to amend this. That was when we we were were voting voting to. On Proposition 8 back in the day, which was like to legalize gay marriage. Gay marriage. It was yeah. like yeah. vote right. yes to say no and no to say yes or yeah. like yeah. whatever. It was like so backward. Not that I was voting back in 2008, but yes. yeah, you were really scared yes about it. Yes, Prop 8 was to criminalize gay marriage in California. Yes. Mm. Jeez. So yes, yes, that's right. Was so you voted yes, so you're saying? I didn't vote anything back then. <laughs> in 2008? <laughs> no, I just remember, obviously, like, in the, like, Christian world, it was, like, a big hot-button topic. Yeah. So that's well, why now, I remember it now being it's a thing. Prop 1. No. I, is, that's the reproductive rights. I, I remember I, I missed when, that. I remember Prop that 8. I one? clearly remember Prop 8 signs. They were yellow with blue writing. Crazy. Oh. And I remember because my parents... I remember my mom made some comment one time. She was like, don't be friends with anyone who's had who has those in signs in the yard. They don't <laughs> and, like gay people. And I remember like being at like down the street at a friend's house and her family had one and they were like super religious, had one in the yard and we had gay neighbors. And I remember being like, what, two, circa 2008, yeah. like yeah. however old I was. Eight. And I was like, um, do you like, and I'm talking to this other child. No, she would have been like. like I'm like, do you Ten. like Minnie and Lisa? And they're like, yeah, I love them. They're so great. I was like, well, you know that that sign means that they can't get married. Gay activist. I love it. Got him. What did they say to that? She was like, huh? She's like, what does that mean? Gosh. And he's like, just so you know. Just so you like, know. Just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. So if you wow. want to tell your mom and dad, so take the sign out. Take the mm-hmm. sign out. Or do it yourself. <laughs> Throw it in the trash. That Doing it so for good. Minnie and Lisa. Well, Lisa. they'd be proud of you, Annie. Hey. That's great. They were awesome. They moved, but whatever. Well, mm. 
You well, could write a book with your neighborhood story. I'm voting. Yeah, I could. I'm voting yes on Proposition Christmas. Is happening. No, it's here. Are you it's voting not. yes on Proposition it's Christmas? No, Please. I'm voting no. I'm voting yes. Yes. Oh, you oh, it. yes. have it. It's Christmas. Woo! <laughs> Blogged it out for Christmas. Kara's face right now. It's so sad. She I will not be decorating my house she until the day after Thanksgiving. Right, are you going to decorate your house? That's fine. We have a turkey at our house. I'll be decorating right my now. house when I'm living, yeah, out on the front lawn. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, feeling good, everybody. Oh. One more till 104 episodes. This oh. is whoa. Oh. 103. 103. Wow. Bam, 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 bam. That's crazy. Next week is. The big it's two years. The big two years. Mm-hmm. Is that next and week? Yeah. Next week. Also, your wedding anniversary? This will yeah. be 104 will come out the day before our first wedding anniversary. Wow, yep. that is so sweet. Pretty sweet stuff. Wow. Just, just loving all the sweet stuff. If I, if I come in my stuff. wedding dress, <gasps> do you dare me? <gasps> do I dare do you? Do you dare me? You just do it. I know you want to do it. This you guys, I haven't gotten it, gotten it clean since the wedding. Ew. Okay, don't definitely don't wear it. It's been in a bag. It's been in a bag. That's not it's prob- well, then you get it it's clean. Wear this, it this might be the time. He it's was fun. just a podcaster. She was also a podcaster. A what they didn't realize is their other friend that was a podcaster <laughs> was gonna coordinate their wedding. <laughs> and their other friend was gonna be there too. Also a <laughs> podcaster. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> A podcast wedding for Christmas <laughs> coming this December to Disney Plus. Oh, wow. On the couch as always, Kara Tafoya, Eddie the Scove, Scoveman, I'm Ryan. I'm John. And we'll see you next week on What, what the, the Podcast! podcast.